Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Dell Inspiron 16 Plus 7640. To have a sneak peek at the internals, you need to undo eight Phillips head screws. The captive ones in the top two corners will slightly lift the panel up. Raise the areas behind the hinges with a lever tool and pop the midsection of the rear. Pry the sides by inserting a thin plastic tool in between the plate and the base and pop the panel by lifting the tool up. After that, pry the front as usual. Our machine with Core Ultra CPU has the optional 90 watt hour battery, which is also standard for all DGPU notebooks of this series. The base unit for the Meteor Lake based machines has a 64 watt hour capacity. The laptops with 12th and 13th gen CPUs rely on a smaller 54 watt hour variant. To take it out, detach the connector from the motherboard and undo the six Phillips head screws that secure the battery to the chassis. The capacity is enough for around 20 hours of either web browsing or video playback. The result is great. To achieve that, you have to apply the balanced preset in the Windows Power and Battery menu, select the optimized power plan in the My Dell app, and turn on the panel self-refresh function in the Intel Graphics Command Center. The iGPU-only machines rely on soldered memory. The iterations with 12th and 13th gen processors are configured with just 16 gigabytes of LPDDR5X, 4800 MHz memory in dual-channel mode. The devices with core ultra chips get 16 or 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5X, 6400 MHz RAM. Interestingly, the notebooks with a DGPU have two SODIMs for DDR5, 5600 MHz modules. For storage, you get only one M.2 slot for 2230 or 2280 Gen 4 NVMe drives. The SSD is protected by a metal shroud that is fixed to the chassis with one Phillips head screw. The metal plate has a thermal pad on the inside. The cooling seems normal for a laptop with an integrated video card. It has one sizable fan, one relatively thick heat pipe, a long top-mounted heat sink, and a heat spreader.